Hi everyone, it is Sam from the Art Lab in a Box and today I'm very excited to make a galaxy pour painting. So let's open up our boxes and see what is inside that we need. The items that we need for this project is, there's quite a few actually. Um, we're gonna need this small cup, which we're gonna use for measuring. Four popsicle sticks. We need our canvas. This bag of silver glitter. We need our four little cups, one bigger cup, this jar, which has um, our pouring medium in it, and then our four colors of paint, white, black, blue, and purple. So go ahead, get, get that out. And you'll also be needing some sort of tray um, or like you could even do it in your box. You can do it in your box, but we're gonna be pouring paint on the canvas, so it's all gonna be going off the sides. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a tray or a plate or something that is big and bigger than your canvas so that the paint can drip off the sides. Okay, if you don't have a tray, use your box, but it's up to you. I'm gonna use a cookie sheet, I think, um, and I'm gonna line it with some tin foil, so that way I can just clean it up really easy after. But ask your grown up or adult that's with you what you should use, that's the best thing. Or you can use your box. And when you're ready and you have them all, press play again. All right? Okay, the first thing we're gonna need is our four cups and our four paints. I'm gonna move my canvas onto my tray. I'm gonna move my flow trowel out of the way and put my four cups out like this. That is the first step. Go ahead, put your four cups out, press pause and play again when you're ready. Okay, so what we wanna do first is we wanna get the paint from here into here. So what I like to do is I like to take the cap tap it down on the table. This gets all the paint to the bottom of the container. I'm gonna flip it open and I'm gonna squeeze out all the paint. <laughs> that is a funny sound. I think this might be the most fun part. Keep shaking it and get all the paint out until you have pretty much all of it. All right, you're gonna wanna do that with each color, tapping it on the table first, upside down, to get all the paint towards the tip. Open this thing up and squeeze all of it in there. So it seems like it's all gone, but if you give it a couple shakes again, even more comes out. So keep giving it some shakes and try to get out as much as you can, all right? I'm just gonna put these aside. Okay, go ahead, press pause, and add all of your paints into your cups, and press play again when you're ready for the next step. Okay, let's carry on. I'm gonna put one popsicle stick in each of my cups like this. And then I'm gonna use my jar of Floetrol here. Open it up like that. This is glass, so be careful you don't drop it. And then I'm gonna measure one cup of this and put it into each cup. a little too much in that one. And there you go, there is the next step. So go ahead, put in your popsicle sticks, add in your flow trial. I have a little bit extra, which you can hold on to and save if you need more later. But go ahead, add that in, and press play again when you're ready. Okay, now it's time. Stretch our hands out. Get our hands ready for some stirring. We are going to start stirring all the cups 
until all the paint is mixed in. The white, it's kind of hard to tell because it kind of looks the same after, but I would just count to 60. Because you have to make sure it's mixed in really good. If you just mix it a little bit, it's not gonna work out the way we want it to. So you wanna make sure you count to like 50 or 60 while you're stirring every cup. Scrape the edges. See, I'm scraping the edges. Because anything that's stuck to the walls of the cup, you wanna make sure that gets mixed in nicely. Okay, I think my white is nicely mixed in. I'll show you what it looks like when you mix in a darker color. If you just keep stirring, it's eventually going to turn back to its original color. See, my cup's really full, so you might want to stir it um, not too fast. I stir all the time, so I'm pretty careful with how I do it, but if you're not uh, used to stirring all the time, make sure you take your time and go slow. And when you're mixing in the darker color, you'll know it's ready when you can't see any white anymore. So mine is all completely black. There's no more white in here. I know this is mixed up really good. So go ahead, press pause and mix up the colors for all of your cups and press play again when you're ready. Okay, do you have all of your colors mixed up really good and there's no white left? You scraped all the edges, it's looking good. Okay, so what we wanna do next now is we want to take our sticks out and put them somewhere. So I'm going to just take this card or you can throw it directly into the garbage. But if you don't wanna get up, you can just put them in a safe place. And just a reminder that this paint stains. So you wanna make sure you don't just put the paint on anything. There we go. So I have my sticks out. The next thing we're gonna do is really fun. We are gonna take our bigger cup and we're slowly gonna layer our paint. Add a little blue, a little white, a little purple. And you know what, my purple is, doesn't it seem a little bit thick? If it feels a little bit thick and chunky, add some more of that extra Floetrol that you have in your container. I think this one, it's, it would still work if it was thick, but I think that I am just gonna add a little bit more. Cause you want it to be nice and runny. Okay, there we go. See how it's pouring nicely? It should be pouring pretty nice. Add some of my black. And you can go in whatever order you want. Just slowly start adding a little bit of paint so that it layers in your cup. See, I'm gonna add a little more to my blue as well. So go ahead, press pause and add all of your paint colors to your cup until you have no paint left at all. So press pause and play again when you're ready. Once you're done layering your cup, do not stir it. That is very important step. Do not stir your cup. Keep it just like this, okay? And then you're gonna wanna take your cups and discard them. I'm gonna throw mine in the garbage over here. And then, once you've gotten your cups put away, 
we are gonna get our canvas ready on our tray. So remember what I said, all the paint's gonna rush off the side, so you really wanna make sure you do this inside your box or on a special um, tray or something that you can wash after or whatever you have, okay? And it's gotta be bigger than the size of the canvas. So go ahead, press pause, get your canvas ready inside a tray, and we'll do the next step. Press play when you're ready. All right, now for the fun part. We are gonna take our cup of paint. Look how cool the layers look on the side. And we are gonna put it on our tray like this in the middle. Pick up our canvas. We're gonna flip our canvas over so that the back side is upwards. And we're gonna place it gently down on our cup, making sure not to knock it over. Can you see this kind of ring circle thing here? When I put my cup there, that's where I know my cup is. I'm gonna gently place my hand on here. I'm not gonna crush it down really hard and crush my cup. I'm gonna gently place my hand here. And the key is to take our time. And then I'm gonna use my other hand to reach under the canvas and hold the cup. Okay, go ahead and do this at the same time as me. Press pause and get set up if you need to. Okay, so my hand is on here. I can kind of feel the cup around my hand so I can feel where it's the middle. And I'm not squeezing the cup on the bottom. I'm not squeezing the cup on the bottom because I don't want to squeeze out the paint, but I am going to flip it over this way slowly. I'm not flying. And then I'm holding it in my hand like this. Okay, just like a kind of like a serving tray. And then I'm gonna put it down on my tray like that. All right, can you do that? Okay, go ahead and do that. And if some of the spill, the paint spills out the sides or it spills, that's okay. Just go with the flow, just start moving your canvas. But if you have it in this position and you are good to go, this is what we are gonna do next. We're gonna slowly lift the cup right up. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Look, it already looks kind of like a galaxy right there. Beautiful, and even look at my cup is stunning. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you'd like to save your cup, you can. You just gotta let it dry for a few days and um, you can put pencils in it or your paintbrushes or whatever. But yeah, put your cup to the side, okay? And while this is like this, you're gonna pick up your tray that you have. Let's zoom out a little bit. You're gonna pick up your tray and you're gonna slowly go off each corner of the canvas. I'm gonna start with this bottom one and as soon as it goes off the corner, you're gonna wanna go to the next corner. Once it goes off this corner, there we go. We're gonna wanna stretch it this way. all the way off over here. And then have it going to this corner. And there we go. You don't wanna pour it all off the canvas cause then all of your paint's gonna come off. But oh my goodness, this looks so incredible. I really like the way it turned out. So if you haven't done it yet, press pause. You can pull your cup up and move your paint around. And once you get to this step, go ahead and press play and we'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so this step is actually optional. You don't have to add glitter to your painting if you already like the way it looks. Some people, glitter's not in their taste. I'm not some people. I love glitter and I'm not going to put the whole thing on. I find if you add too much glitter, it's it's just a little too much and it overpowers the painting and you, you don't want to sprinkle it all over. If you sprinkle it all over, it's going to cover your canvas. You just want like little bursts of stardust. So I'm just going to do some, I'm going to grab a pinch like this and just do like some little areas. 
just to add a little shimmer to my painting. I really like the way this looks here. So I'm just gonna add some next to it, not on it. Sprinkling it. Maybe in the corners a little bit. And then you can dust a little bit on. And honestly, I think that's enough. Like I said, you don't want to overdo it. You're going to be so sad if you cover all of your beautiful artwork and you aren't able to see the what's underneath it. So less is more in this case. And here's how mine looks. I am so in love with this. It looks so incredible. I hope yours looks good too. So go ahead, press pause, add some glitter if you'd like. If not, it's time to wait and let it dry. Ta-da! Here is my galaxy painting. I am so happy with the way mine turned out. Yours should probably look different from mine because everyone's painting is gonna look different depending on how you did your colors, but I'd love it if you'd send me a picture so I can see as well. Uh, good job, everybody, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Bye.